Hey guys, how's it going? It's Red Champ here. You guys wanted to know what defenseman I had changed to when you seen in the videos that I was running a little something different? Well, this is it for you. This is my two-way defenseman. It's 6'1", 188. It shoots left-handed. I use gold stick em up silver truculents, and elite edges with power skating and booming hits. Uh, my shooting isn't too important for me because I'm normally just getting the puck up and then if I do get a human goalie, I will run Gold Heat Seeker because that lets me have a lot better shot and you can pick some wicked shots from the point there. Uh, I run 89 speed, 69 balance. It's enough to take a hit. It's not too, too much. But my big thing here is I want to be able to toss a hit and I want to be able to move, right? The defensive defenseman is super strong everywhere, but its skating is its weakest point, right? Here, this lets me have a little bit more, more, more mobility and it feels a lot smoother in my opinion. So we got 89 speed, 69 balance, 86 agility. We got 76 wrist shot power, 77 slap shot power, 87 acceleration, and 88 puck control. Now the puck control is gonna help us on our shooting accuracy and our passes, as well as it's gonna let us get into a faster skate, which is gonna help us out too. Endurance is totally tanked because we're on the defense. We're not going to be jumping in, into the play too, too much, as well as burning all of our energy. Next, we have passing. So this is actually equivalent to the puck moving defenseman's passing by default at 87. Now, if you wanted to take this all the way down, you could drop that down and get your stats a lot higher for these three, for body checking, stick checking, and defensive awareness. I run it as high passing because I want to make those passes go through. Um, Next is my body checking at 83. That's capped out for this height and weight with silver truculence. So lets you body big people still, super effective. Uh, 84 stick checking, it's it's okay. It's not the best, not the worst, but if you're not playing human goalies and you have gold stick them up on, then it becomes fairly strong. Next is 85 defensive awareness. Uh, I personally find if I'm in the right lane, I can pick off passes no problem with fucking 71 defensive awareness so 85 is good enough for me because it's a huge increase next we have the hand eye and tenacity and what's in there is 82 hand eye that's the default and we got our strength set to 81 so that lets us be a little bit of a bully out there we're able to stay on our feet and we're able to throw out the huge hits with truculence and the max body checking for the sight and weight Durability, not too important, it's 71. We're a bigger build, so we get a few points by having our size. So we don't get bullied too much out there and injured. Shot blocking is 83. It's It gets the job done. Uh, for the tactics, we have 80 deking, 75 face-offs, because we're not taking any of those, 84 discipline, and 69 fighting skill. Totally irrelevant stat, don't worry about it. Uh, I just prefer to have a little bit of hands here so that I'm able to move and do a deke here and there without losing the puck all the time. But anyways, this is my build. This is the two-way defenseman. This is what I ran on Don't Dodge when we were approximately sixth before the club went kaboom. Uh, enjoy, guys. All right, guys. Now I'm going to show you some of its strengths. So one of the strengths here is being able to use your body to block people off and then steal the puck and because of its high passing it's able to get the puck up quickly and create a pretty easy <laughs> chance as you saw in this clip here as it has a little bit more strength than the puck moving defenseman so it's able to body block pretty well without gotcha. getting ran over uh, as you can see there with silver truculence you can cause menacing hits when you have it lined up because you are pretty big still at 61188 and you're strong this one here is gold heat seeker so this one's when you're playing human goalies <laughs> this one lets you have a good option from the yeah, point it's not a hard shot both. but when you're playing human goalies all you really need is a little bit of open space and you can rip it past them here you're gonna see where the 89 speed comes in it's pretty good to get the wheels going and it's enough to just score like it doesn't have to be the fanciest shot but for those who don't know the low pad slash glove shots for right-handed people and the low pad slash blocker for the lefties are the easy cheese on goalies as not a lot of people invest into those stats and it makes for a pretty nice clean shot when you come in and just snipe it low blocker but one of my big favorites of this build is that while it's not as defensively strong as the defensive defenseman or as big of a hitter or as mobile 
as the two or the uh, puck moving defenseman. It gives you a good balance in between while still having the strength, the hitting, and the option to have ridiculous stick checking and have good passing while being able to toss a hit, which is the best of both, which is why it's a two-way class, right? So, anyways, guys, that's uh, that wraps this one up here. This is my two-way defenseman. I don't have a name for it. It's nothing special. This is uh, what I played in club finals. Enjoy, guys. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone.